you are living with diabetes, then you have to watch your diet, your blood sugar, and your insulin. But you also need to pay close attention to your skin. Here with why is Carol Ann Maloney from BD Canada and her friend, Lipo Larry. So Carol, what do people with diabetes need to know about their skin? Basically, a recent study in Canada showed that one in four people that live with diabetes mm -hmm. that inject insulin have a condition called lipohypertrophy under their skin. Okay. And what Lipo yeah, what is that? Yeah, lipohypertrophy is basically a buildup of fatty tissue that accumulates under the skin. So here, if you take a look at Larry, you can see he has He's been great out. abs. He's oh, been yeah. working out. Yeah. Uh, but if you feel under the skin, there are some spots that don't feel as... Um, as oh, yeah. they feel a little bit hard underneath. Yeah, and that's, okay. that's caused by repeated injections into that area over a long period of time. Okay, so uh, the big word, hypo... Lipohypertrophy, or exactly. lipos for short. What I was going to say. Um, that's not dangerous for, for Larry, but it's not getting him the insulin that he needs properly. Exactly. So if he chooses to inject, continue to inject into that area, insulin isn't being absorbed the way that it should be. Okay. And then he's using up to 15 units more insulin than he actually needs, which is quite a bit. So what does Lipo Larry need to do then? So Lipo Larry needs to learn how to rotate his injection sites. So here's actually um, a grid sort of pattern that we use. Yeah. Yes, of course. So this uh, demonstrates the size of a proper injection area. Okay, so, so if this was part of his abdomen, he would go there for exactly, one injection? Exactly, and then move a finger width apart for the next injection, and then the next, and the next. And one key component in this is that when you're using bigger, wider injection areas, not just tiny little areas, yep. you need to use a shorter needle to make sure that you are uh, not injecting into muscle, but rather injecting into fat. Okay, so Larry doesn't have a whole lot of fat on him. No, he doesn't. So he needs no. a small needle because he wants it yeah. going to fat and not the muscle. What's the problem with going into the, if he goes into the muscle? So if he goes into the muscle, insulin is being used far more quickly than it should, and it doesn't last as long as it should. Okay. So that's why four millimeter needles, like the BD Nano, um, is recommended to make sure that he gets the, the best absorption of his insulin. Just stays in the fat. So why is it, what's causing those lumps in Larry? Is it a, a buildup of insulin or damage to the tissue? Uh, it's a combination, so it's trauma to the site repeatedly over a long period of time with exposure to insulin, which is a growth factor. Okay. Now, can Larry pick other spots other than just his stomach? Yes, he can use his thighs, he can use um, his buttocks or this love handle area. <laughs> um, I'm or his abs. he could use the back of his arm, especially if somebody else is giving the injection. It's very difficult to reach that area all on your own. Okay, but again, he wants to use that exact same pattern as he moves yeah. things around. And there's different patterns. It doesn't have to be a grid. It can be any pattern that he will remember as long as he's not choosing the same place over and over again. Now you spend a lot of time working as a nurse with people who are living with diabetes. Do they have a good understanding of the fact that they should be moving their needles? No. Do no. the nurses have a good Often idea? Often when you inject into lipohypertrophy, it doesn't hurt as much. So a lot of people choose that area because it is more comfortable. And with regards to looking for lipohypertrophy, not a lot of healthcare professionals are necessarily hands-on with patients with diabetes. Okay. So I might say to a patient, do you rotate your injection sites? And the patient will say, yes, I do. And I check it off on my form. Uh, but what we know now is that getting hands-on and, and touching a site can unveil some things that, uh, that we might not have known about just by asking. All right, so if you have questions, if you have something there that you need to have answers for, all you gotta do is go to breakfasttelevision.ca. You'll find all the links on BD and Lipo Larry. I gotta say, one of my favorite guests of the day. <laughs> Gonna take a break. There's plenty still to come today on BT.